Okay, JB, let's get an update. This thing's moving along quickly. Yes. We talked about you starting with such a good car, it helps things speed along. And I know you drove this thing in here, so it's, it's a running car. Yes. Let's get an update on the paint since we were last seeing it. Yeah, we're at the stage now where uh, we just finished uh, color sanding it. Color sanding is really an, an unknown art along, among some people because what happens is this is what, this is what people actually see, is what you sand and buff. Right. Okay? Now, if the paint underneath it is not well done, of course, they're gonna notice that, but this is when a lot of people fall down. They don't understand how to color sand properly. It's a round object, so it's problematic to begin with. You're not gonna be using a lot of blocks because only in an area like, for instance, here, where it's relatively flat, right. would a block come into play. And you're dealing with really fine grits, up to, up to 5,000 grit. Oh, okay. People don't even know there is such a thing. There is, believe me. Okay. If you go to the guys in Europe, detailing people, they know about it. They have three, four, five, six thousand grit. You can't even feel the grit on it. But as you go down layer per layer and you start knocking off those high spots mm -hmm. and you get near the very the final finish, you want to have as fine a grit of sandpaper as you can find. And depending on if it's an area like this, you're going to use a block behind it to keep it relatively straight. If you're up in this area, of course, a block is of no use to you because it's curved. Right. So you just use your hand. Okay. And at that stage, the, 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 the sandpaper is so fine that it really cannot cut a flat spot in it any longer. What we're trying to do is get a degree of fineness. And again, as we talked about earlier, we're always going at a bias to the curve. So it, as I would sand in this direction, then we sand back in this direction. And what you'll see is the highs start to disappear okay. into the lows, and that's when we know we're there. Got it. Very, very difficult to do this. This takes a very long time to learn how to do, but a lot of it is just because you don't know there are all these grits of sandpaper. Sure, okay. Most people can't get access to more than 600. Right. There's thousands, yeah, 2,000, 3,000. Yeah, if you go to the hardware store, you're not gonna see that stuff. Or even the paint store, sometimes they're limited. Okay. You may have to order it special, but you're doing a, a paint job of this quality, you, you need to get up at least two or 3,000 grit. Yeah, okay, okay. fair and enough. That, and then when that's done, um, then you start hitting it with a buffer, and then you get to the coarse compound, medium compound and fine compound. Okay. There's three different kinds of compounds. So you're using different compounds in addition to the different Exactly. And again, grit. if you notice, it's always big, smaller, smallest. I see. And that's how you keep from cutting into the work you've already done, is you don't okay. want to get after it with something real aggressive. And so you're getting finer and finer and finer as you go. I got Ultimately, you. you have a finish like this. Right. Now, this, this car, we're, we're kind of pushing the schedule on it. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting that maybe two weeks from now, we may have to go back in and, and, uh, and buff it. Okay. Or even color sand it with like three or 4,000. Okay. Because this paint is still settling down. It's still ah. trying to decide what it wants to be when it grows up. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> right. we may have some spots. Now, you know, with the newer stuff, especially with the good quality clears, they, they dry very quickly uh -huh. and well. Okay. And that's part of their charm. Yeah. Um, some of the less expensive stuff, not so much. Okay. They're made to shoot it and ship it. Okay. They, don't, they don't do any color sanding. Uh, so they want to lay out nice and smooth. They don't care if it lasts. They don't care if the ultraviolet burns it up. They're just trying to do an inexpensive paint job. I see. Okay. Not the case here. This, this car, you know, we want this paint job to last 30 or 40 years. Wow. So right. we're going to have to do it entirely differently. Got you. Okay. And I've noticed we've got some trim has now been attached to the car. Yeah, the trim was in good, good order when, when we started. So we didn't have to do a lot of work with that. We hit it, kind of hit them with a buffer a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some minor scratching and that sort of thing. Right. But at some level, we just got to put the car together. Right. It's on a really tight schedule. So it's just got to go together regardless. This emblem uh, looks pretty unique. Yes. Yeah, that's probably the prettiest thing on the car. Mm. It's a cloisonné piece. Uh, cloisonné is a $4 word for melted glass. Huh. And there's, it was a real art form, it still is, as to how do you get uh, the cloisonné without going over the, over the letters oh. and the numbers. It's just an absolutely, I, I have no idea how they did that. So they somehow melt the glass <coughs> and then lay the metal on top of it, No, I guess? the metal is no. already there. Oh, okay. They flow it in in between they the letters somehow. Oh my God. I'm sure they make five of them and only keep two of them. Yeah, Because right. the, the reject glass, rate would be exactly, high. Exactly, very high. 
but this is a high-end car. So they're going to they're gonna say, all right, that's not going to work. I'm going to wait until I get a good one. And pretty soon they got, got it down. But this is, there's so few of these built right. that there wouldn't be a lot of these ever built. So, and you find them today in new old stock condition. And that's what these are. That's what these are. And so, these were bought years ago. And this is the first time they've been the put first on the time car? they've been they've been in the eyes of the public. Okay. <laughs> so uh, and they are breathtaking wow. in, in in real. Now are they the same life. color on all the colored cars? Yes, that they made? are. And remember, you're looking through clear, clear glass with a little bit of red in it. Uh huh. It's just fortunate that we have a red car. If we had okay. a white car, yeah. it would really stand out. That's why I was asking. Okay. One of the great things about this car is everything just kind of flows. Right. Every, all the compliments, all, it's, it's just two colors, which yep. as we all know, is my favorite thing to do. Yep. So we got red and silver, red and silver, red and silver everywhere you look, except right. in the interior where you got a tan interior. Right, okay? interesting, very yep. nice. And even in that case, we're gonna bring some red into the inside, the steering wheel's red, the, the trim pieces and the knobs and that sort of thing are kind of a ruby red. Uh -huh. So we're trying to keep that thing going through it. Okay. And. Uh, Wow. Well, with this thing painted, I mean, you just some of these lines really start yeah, to jump out. Yeah, they start to jump out at you. It really is an amazing piece of art when you consider that this is made out of metal. And if you're if you know anything about the formation of metal, you know how difficult it was to make these. And we saw it sanded down to know that it is metal. We're not. This is not a Bondo Queen here at all. No, right? this is not at all. We we're fortunate, like I said, that it had not been much, if any, damage during its life. Mm -hmm. And. Um, so we're really just painting right over the virgin metal. And that's really good because if you paint over Bondo, somebody else's Bondo especially, you have no idea whether it's any good or not. Right. So you get all this work mm -hmm. and you left a time bomb ticking underneath the paint. <laughs> sure, wow. And that thing will stretch and draw and, and shrink and now your beautiful paint job is, is lost. Right. You're gonna start all over again. That's why you really have to just strip them down to bare metal. Right. Well, well, it's really looking, that, that red is beautiful. Obviously there's, yep. you're still, it's a work in progress. Yep, but it's we're, really. We've still got a lot to do, Yeah. but we're getting there. Yeah, I'm sure obviously the doors and all that are somewhere else, but they're painted, I guess. John, the, the uh, trimmer is, has been asked to kind of back off a little bit, let them do their cutting and their buffing because they don't want buffing material to get on the upholstery it's sure and the, the carpet especially we got we got german weave carpet which is a little bit on the expensive side right. so we really don't want rubbing compound or god forbid paint to get on that right so we're, we're holding him off a little bit and he's agreed to do that okay uh, mercifully and then when we're, we're done buffing he can jump in and and, and put the uh, the carpet in okay wow okay and okay. there's that there's that red steering wheel we were talking yeah. about We'll get better lighting on another yep. episode probably and, and catch that.